Hello everyone. Today we're going to do some real world tips on how you can improve your skincare routine. So I'm going to actually take you into my bathroom here in a minute and I'm going to give you a down and dirty view of my cupboard so that you can see some of the things that I do just to streamline my skincare routine. So this is not going to be beautiful. It's actually my spare bathroom and I use that bathroom on purpose because really nobody else really uses it very often, certainly not for skincare or for any of that kind of stuff. So I find that I'm able to kind of, you know, keep it all to myself. And I just wanted to share with you a few things that I think make a massive difference in the efficiency of my routine, as well as just they provide me with no roadblocks so that I can actually do my routine easily, both morning and night. If you are new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. I'm excited to share this because I think it's going to give you a little bit of a view into how just absolutely normal my skincare routine is just like you. I don't have some special magic wand. I don't have some way that I can get all of this done any better than you. And so I just thought I would show you the ways that I do kind of help myself to get a lot more done in a shorter amount of time and to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Besides this type of video, I of course love to do ingredient breakdowns. I love skincare education. I love to do product reviews, etc. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Okay, so let's go into my bathroom. Seriously, you guys, this is low production because I am a one woman show. So I'm literally gonna pick you up and we are going to walk into my bathroom. It's gonna get really beautiful light in here and I'm going to set you down here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good view. You High, high production. Tip number one is to corral your skincare. Now, basically all that means is find a box or you can use a shoe box, you can get Tupperware, you can go to the container store, whatever you wanna do, but corral your skincare. So as you can see, and let's move this over here. As you can see, it's not like I have any special kind of, you know, skincare stuff going on. I mean, it's a mess a little bit, but what I have done is I have corralled my skincare. So here, I have an old, this is like a Jo Malone um, reed diffuser box that I actually thought was so pretty that I didn't want to get rid of. Well, I put all of the skincare and basically the stuff that I use both morning and night right now. Now I have a ton because I test a ton. So I have more than the average person. I know that. But what this means is every night I can come in here and I pull this whole box out, set it up on my counter and everything is in here that I might want. So I'm not digging through my cupboard. I'm not going to look for stuff. It's all right here, which streamlines the whole process. So the tip is to corral your skincare. Now, if you're interested in what is actually in this box, the things that I'm testing, the stuff that I use both AM and PM, I will be doing an AM PM routine really, really soon. So corral your skincare. That is the first tip. Second tip is to always have these, you know, the headbands. I always have a couple of these and I always have a clip attached to it. So I actually have a couple of these in here and they already have a clip. That way, when I go to pull my hair back, I'm not searching for a clip. I'm not searching for a headband. I have a couple of these so that I, I have more than these obviously, but this way I can wash them and you know rotate them, etc. So I always have a couple of headbands with the clips attached. Those sit right in here. Another thing that I have is I have these uh, clean skin, what are they called? Clean towels. I love these. These are so good. I actually buy these in like three packs or something like that and I keep them open like this right next to my corralled skincare so that I can grab one at night. I grab a fresh one every night and I use it that night and I use it in the morning if I want to use a towel in the morning. So I use it twice. They are biodegradable so they are not bad for the environment and they really are great. Better in my opinion than using a washcloth or anything like that that harbors bacteria. The other thing is I keep a separate spot for my makeup bag so that I can just pull it out, use my makeup and I can put it back 
back into one spot. I keep that just designated for my makeup. And then I have just the hair things. It's hard to see over here because of the light, but I've got my dry shampoos that I like. I actually have a Kerastase. It's in my other bathroom, but I have the dry shoes, dry shampoos that I like. And by the way, whoever recommended this Berlin dry shampoo from Pulp Riot, thank you so much. I picked it up on your recommendation just a couple weeks ago. Whoever, whoever you were, I would need to go back and find you and say thank you. This is a fantastic dry shampoo. So thank you. That was a great recommendation. Anyway, I just have a few of my hair things down here. And then on the bottom, I keep like hair tools and stuff like that. And then some other things. What you kind of can't see in here, I'm going to move this just a little bit more, is that I do have a ton of things in here that I am testing, um, stuff that I use kind of not irregularly, but not like every single night, but stuff that I'm testing and all of that is in here as well. But I keep the stuff corralled that is every single night. Okay, so that is a few tips from my cupboard. Now I wanna share with you something else that I just started doing that has made a huge, huge difference too. Now this is my countertop and it doesn't always look exactly like this, but I use these little bands for my wrists for stopping water. Seriously, that's one of the best things ever. Now, I, I kept these out here because these are the ones that I used last night and um, I had these forever. These are kind of big and they're really great, right? Well, they do such a good job of stopping the water from dripping down your arm. The thing about it is they stay wet. They don't dry out very quickly and so it's kind of, no fun to put them on when they're still wet the next day or whatever. So what I did was I went on to Amazon and I bought a, two packages of these little um, wristbands. They're not very expensive. They are smaller than the ones that I usually have, but it doesn't matter. They're gonna work just fine. Each color here represents a wash. And I bought these little um, holders for uh, scrunchies and I have put on them my little wrist things for blocking water, right? So every night when I go to wash my face, I can grab a set and then what I'm doing is I'm throwing them into a lingerie bag. Now I can either take that lingerie bag and I can throw it in the dryer and dry them or if I need to, I'll just throw them in the washer and wash them. This of course is going to keep them from just disappearing like socks or whatever and it's going to help so that every day I have just a fresh pair that are dry. I think that these little holders are so cool. I like them so much that I bought a set for my daughter. This is what they look like. They're just like clear acrylic. I bought a set for my daughter. It comes two of them and one of them's smaller and then one of them's a little bit bigger. And I just think they're fantastic. She'll probably use them for scrunchies and then I got her some of these wristlet things too. And I don't know, they were super inexpensive on Amazon. So that's my next tip for you, is to make your wash more, um, enjoyable by eliminating the water running down your wrists with these little wrist things, but improve the wrist things by giving them a home on your counter, wherever you typically do your skincare, and further improve the situation by getting yourself a lingerie bag if you don't have one. So after each wash at night, you can throw your wet wristbands into the lingerie bag and you can decide if you're gonna either put them in the dryer or you are going to wash a bunch of them at once, dry them, and then put them back on here. So this makes wash time so, so much better. Okay, we're gonna head back into the office. The last thing that I am doing, and mine happens to be here in my office, mostly because of YouTube and because this is where I often film, is I actually got myself a little refrigerator, a skincare refrigerator. Now, I actually got this for myself like Christmas before last on sale, and I have never used it before. I never got it out or anything. Well, I finally pulled it out. The fact that you can put stuff in there and it'll keep it dark, it would be a great place to keep a really covered perfume if you want to keep it as long as possible because of the darkness it also is really great for storing face masks uh, under eye masks and then also for storing um, like rollers or gua sha that you like to keep cool if you want to do a cooling treatment
environment. I can keep my dermatology, like my little stack of eye masks, I can keep them in there so that in the morning when I'm working, I can just pull them out. They're cold. They're right here. It's accessible. So even though I've thought for a long time that a beauty fridge is kind of like, you know, whatever, it's actually a really cool treat. And if you keep it somewhere where you actually might access it and use it, then I think that that's a really fun tip. It's a way to take your skincare to another level. And while it is absolutely not necessary, I do not believe that you have to put any skincare in a skincare fridge. It actually could be something that makes your skincare more enjoyable by keeping it cold and doing cold treatments or accessible because it's right in front of you wherever you might be working or sitting or you know whatever if you have enough room in your bathroom great place would be to keep it obviously in the bathroom my bathroom's not quite big enough the one that where I do my skincare and because I sit in this office a lot working it's really kind of nice to have it and I don't often wear makeup during the day when I'm not filming I will pull out some under eye masks or a mask or a roller or something like that that is now cold and accessible and I will use it just middle of the day on any random Tuesday or something like that. So that's another tip if you want to kind of take your skincare and make it a little bit more fun and accessible, etc. So those are just some of the real things that I do. I hope that going into my spare bathroom where I do my skincare and taking a peek at the imperfect perfectness of it and the kind of practicality of some of those tips like corralling your skincare. Really that's probably my biggest tip and best thing that you can do is to corral your skincare. I think that out of sight, out of mind. So if we have skincare all over the place, then we're likely not to use what we're supposed to or we'll skip or we'll forget. And corralling your skincare is going to make it a little bit easier to do, so you'll actually do it. The wristbands are a game changer. They make doing your skincare when you do it at a sink so much more enjoyable because it's not running down your arm, dripping off your elbow, getting all over your counter and your feet and all of that stuff. So you're more likely to enjoy your skincare treatments, to enjoy the whole process, therefore more likely to actually do it on a regular basis. And everything is about consistency. Consistency is key in everything. I hope you enjoyed this super short practical video. I hope you're having a really wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.